Hello from the Alamo. So we're in downtown San Antonio visiting the Alamo. We have guided tours. The next one's not for two hours, so we're just going to walk around the grounds a little bit. Parking is a little bit of a challenge. They do have paid parking for $10 right down at the corner of Block Away. So it's fairly easy to get to the uh, Alamo. It's just a matter of driving downtown. What's the procedure to just walk around? Walking around? Totally free to do that. Okay. No worries. You have to need a ticket to get inside the church, and unfortunately, I'm sold out today. Okay, great. All right, thank you. Conservation information. To conserve the Alamo Church, stone experts need to understand how its walls were originally built and how thick they are. Using 21st century technology including thermal imaging, surface penetrating radar, moisture meters, and extensive laboratory testing, they have built a detailed 3D model showing how the church was constructed. This will help the team understand how moisture and salts move through the walls. Nice looking cannon there. Looks like reproduction uh, cannon. The holder and the wheels, but the cannon itself looks to be original. Ah, cannon from the Battle of the Alamo. 16 pounder, weighs 2,240 pounds. The bore is 5.25. Okay, so this was located off the Texas coast. It was brought to San Diego, San Antonio, where it was later captured by Texan forces during the Battle of 1835. Pretty cool.
after the Battle of Gonzales, they follow the Mexican soldiers as they retreat by San Antonio. They bring both the Esmeral and the six pounder with them. They got tired of lugging the, the Esmeral around and they threw it in the river. They just discarded it because it was just extra weight. They brought the six pounder here and it takes play, it takes part in the siege of Bejar, which goes from December 5th to December 10th. And, then, and on December 10th at 2 a.m. is when the Mexican army signs the capitulation agreement saying that they'll leave San Antonio. Okay. The six pounder is then transferred into the Alamo where it actually is here for the siege of the Alamo. And it's among one of the cannons that the Mexican army actually yeah, if you look, you see the, the round ball on the end of it, that's called a cascabel. And then you have two little short stubby arms that stick out that sit in the cradle of the carriage. Those are called trunnions. So the Mexican army would spike the gun. They drill the nail into the, the touch hole. They hack off the cascabel and the trunnions, and then they bury the gun so nobody can reuse it. It's not rediscovered until about 1852 when a man by the name of Samuel Maverick, who was one of the mayors of San Antonio, and actually was himself a member of the garrison of the Alamo, but he was elected to go to Washington on the Brazos to sign the Texas Declaration of Independence. This is Davy Crockett right here. He was a well-known frontiersman, politician, and humorous. Davy Crockett died in the Alamo on March 6, 1836, born in Tennessee, skilled hunter. Mm -hmm.